talk about moon phases, or phases of the moon. All right, so here's my model again. So as you see, as it rotates around, the moon goes around. And the moon goes around the Earth approximately 12 times in a year. So by the time the Earth goes around once, the moon has gone around the Earth 12 times. Okay? Now the reason we have phases is because the moon and the Earth are both only being lit up by the sun. So in this case, the only part that gets lit up is the part facing the sun. And so when you look at the moon, the only half you see lit up is the half that's facing the sun. Well, in this case, you would see all of it, but as the moon moves around, remember this side is lit up facing it, this side is dark on this side over here, and so we would only see half of the moon. And then that gets us a different phase of the moon as it goes around. So what really causes the phases is that you're seeing different sides, different amounts of the lit up side of the moon. So, let's draw our diagram here. Here's the sun, over here. Here is the earth, right here. North pole sticking out. And then this, we're gonna have the moon, the moon going around the earth. All right, when the moon is here, remember this side, is in darkness of the moon. So from the Earth, looking here, all we see is the back side or the dark side of the moon. Not really the back, the dark side of the moon. We can't see the moon at all. Also, it's in the same direction as the sun, so we can't see it in the sky. This is called a new moon. Now, as the moon goes around, it goes around in a counterclockwise direction because almost everything in our solar system goes counterclockwise. And one quarter of a month later, the moon is now up here. This side is still dark. The side facing the sun is still light. We see this as a half moon. So this is what's called a first quarter moon because it's one quarter of the way around. Astronomers already measure the moon phases from a new moon. Yeah. When the moon's back down here, this side is dark, but when we look from the Earth, we see the whole lit up side. This is a full moon. When the moon is down here, we see, again, a half moon. Okay. But we see the other half of the moon as it goes around. This is called a third quarter moon. All right, those are the four main phases of the moon. But there's phases in between. What about when the moon is like right here? Well, in this case, this side's still dark. But if you look at what you see from the Earth, you see a little sliver of it lit up. So we see this as a crescent moon. And it depends on how close it is. It's a very tiny crescent as it's close to do, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it hits half lit up and then it's a full moon. Over here, this is the dark side of the moon. When we look at it from the Earth, we see just a little bit of dark. Most of it's lit up. So it's more than half, but it's not full. It looks something like this. We call this a gibbous phase. Same thing down here. This is also a gibbous. And over here, this is a crescent. And we see this as a tiny, we see this as more than half lit up. Those are the phases of the moon. So the phase of the moon is always the relative position between the moon, the sun, and the earth. So the earth is always here, and it's the relative position between them that determines what phase it is. All right, now we have to delineate between the 
ones on the top and the ones on the bottom. Now the ones on the top are when the moon goes from not being seen to a crescent to a half to a nearly full and then to a full moon. So the moon is getting bigger. Here it goes from full and it gets smaller all the way down until you can't see it again. So these on the top we call waxing. So we have a waxing gibbous and a waxing crescent. Down here, this is a waning gibbous, which means it's getting smaller. And this is a waning crescent. So when you delineate between gibbouses, you have to say it's a waxing gibbous or a waning gibbous or a waxing crescent or a waning crescent. Alright, so moon phases are very simple. What's trickier is to put moon phases together with our understanding of time. And that's what we want to do now. So make sure you know this, just memorize this diagram. Know where the position of the moon is for each of its phases. Now remember the sun's here, but I'm going to erase this, but that's where the sun is always off to this side. So remember the sun is that way. Alright, so a question I could ask is this. What time does the first quarter moon rise? To do that, we have to know where the first quarter moon is with respect to the sun and the earth. And then we have to figure out what time it is, and time is told by where somebody is on the earth compared to the sun. So what you have to do every time is draw a picture. We're going to draw the sun over here, we're going to draw the earth, okay? and then we're going to draw, if we know the phase of the moon, we're going to put the moon where it is. So first quarter, I go, oh, first quarter, I know from my diagram, the first quarter moon is up here, it makes a 90 degree angle with the sun, so here's the first quarter moon, so here's the moon. Okay. Then I want to know what time it is when it's rising. And remember, when something's rising, it's always in the east. So I need to figure out, and I'll, it'll always be one of these four points. Which herb has east pointing towards the moon? And if you don't remember, we did this on the previous diagram about time. Remember when it's here, this is noon, this is 6 p.m., this is midnight, and this is 6 a.m. down here. And the earth always spins to the east. So we have east here, west here, east here, west here, east here, west here, east here, west here. Okay? So I have to figure out from this diagram which herb position has east pointing towards the moon. And if I look over here, I see it east pointing towards the moon, pointing up from this position. So let's put Herb over here. So I'm putting Herb at noon. I'm going to draw the horizon of Herb. And I'm going to say that east is up, west is down. I know that because the earth is spinning counterclockwise and it's spinning to the east. So what time is it? The time when the first quarter moon is rising is at noon. Making sense a little bit? All right, let's do a different one. What phase is the moon if it rises at 6 p.m.? All right, I just changed it around a little bit. Instead of giving you the phase, I'm giving you what time it is, and you have to figure out what phase the moon is. But we do it exactly the same way. Put your sun over here, put your earth here, and then we look at what we know. Well, in this one, we don't know where the moon is, so I can't put the moon down yet, but I do know it's 6 p.m., so I know where to put Herb. 6 p.m., remember, Herb is on the top here. So this is Herb. 
This is a 6 p.m. herb up here. And then I dry as a horizon. It rotates this way. This is east. This is west. Okay. And then I say it's rising. The moon is rising in the east. So I look which way is east. East is over here. The moon has to be out here to the east. I say, oh, what phase is that? That is a full moon. Now, the good thing about a full moon is that notice the full moon is rising at 6 p.m. It's rising exactly as the sun sets. So the full moon is the only moon that's up all night long. The other ones are only up for part of the night. So the full moon rises as the sun sets because it's exactly opposite. So if you rotate like this, as the sun sets, the full moon rises, and then they rotate around the sky as the full moon sets, the sun rises. So the full moon only occurs exactly when the sun is opposite. Now, full moon looks full to our eyes for about a day before and a day after. So really, the full moon appears that way for about three days. All right. I can also do this question one other way. I can say the third quarter moon is setting. Time is it? Same thing. I put the sun over here. I put the earth here. 